हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूमेरिकल रिलेटेड टू इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन एंड नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी फ्रॉम फ्री वाइब्रेशन चैप्टर सो हियर इन आवर क्वेश्चन डेटा इज गिवन फॉर द सिस्टम शोन इन फिगर फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन एंड आल्सो डिटरमाइन इट्स नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी सो हियर वन पेंडुलम इज गिवन एंड पेंडुलम हैज मास एम एंड लेंथ ऑफ पेंडुलम दैट इज एल and also there are two spring both spring have stiffness k and from this support for first spring the distance is given a and for second spring the distance is given b and here pendulum rotates in anti clockwise direction so we have to find equation of motion and determine its natural frequency let's solve this numerical step by step so in first step we draw one free body diagram let the pendulum swing through an angle theta here pendulum rotates in anti clockwise direction and this pendulum swing by an angle theta if we apply accelerating couple that is i theta double dot here what is the meaning of theta double dot that is the angular acceleration alpha in dynamics of machine meaning of alpha that is the derivative double derivative of displacement so d square theta by dt square so if double derivative of displacement then we can write theta double dot so here accelerating couple that is i theta double dot because acceleration is the double derivative of displacement here weight of pendulum that is we know that that is mg so weight of pendulum is mg and this x at downwards and here if pendulum swings through an angle theta then this angle is also theta so weight has two components one is vertical and one is horizontal so we know that here angle adjacent side that is cos theta so this is angle adjacent side so here we write mg cos theta because angle adjacent sides that is cos theta so here first component is mg cos theta and opposite side that is sin theta so here we can write mg sin theta so we have two components first component is mg cos theta and second component is mg sin theta here mg sin theta is responsible to bring pendulum to its original position so restoring torque we know that torque is equal to force multiply radius so here mg sin theta force is responsible to bring pendulum to its original position so force is mg sin theta and radius we know that that is the length of pendulum so mg sin theta into l and this x in clockwise direction so mgl sin theta that is you can say that that is a restoring couple or you can say that is external couple and this x at clockwise direction so mgl sin theta that is external couple or you can say restoring couples again i repeat in step number 1 we draw one free body diagram here pendulum swing through an angle theta if we applying accelerating couple i theta double dot here meaning of theta double dot that is angular acceleration that is the double derivative of displacement and here if pendulum swing through an angle theta this angle also theta so pendulum has on weight that is mg so here there are two components one is vertical one is horizontal so we know that angle adjacent side that is cos so mg cos theta and angle opposite side that is mg sin theta and mg sin theta force is responsible to bring pendulum to its original position so we know that restoring torque that is f cross r so mg sin theta that is force and r that is uh, length of pendulum so mgl sin theta that is external couple or you can say restoring couple in step number 2 here there are another two spring with stiffness k if pendulum swing through an angle theta then this spring is compressed because pendulum swing then this spring is compressed by an amount delta 2 so here we draw one another 
free body diagram here if pendulum swing through an angle theta then this spring is compressed by an amount delta 2 similarly this spring deflection that is delta 1 because of pendulum swing so here we draw two triangle first triangle is this is the angle theta deflection is delta 2 and from this support distance is b so here first we draw triangle angle theta deflection delta 2 and distance that is b so we know that tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side so delta 2 by b so when angle is very very small then we can consider tan theta is equal to theta so theta is equal to delta 2 by b so delta 2 is equal to b into theta similarly for this spring stiffness is k and this deflection is delta 1 because of pendulum swing then angle is also theta and from this support distance of the spring that is a so we draw another triangle that is distance a deflection delta 1 and angular displacement that is theta so tan theta is equal to delta 1 by a again here angle is small that's why we consider tan theta is equal to theta so theta is equal to delta 1 by a so delta 1 is equal to a theta so here because of this compression of spring spring force acts in opposite direction we know that stiffness is equal to force per unit deflection or you can say load per unit deflection so spring force is equal to k into delta so here spring force acts in opposite direction so spring force that is k delta 2 and restoring couple that is spring force k delta 2 multiply perpendicular distance that is b from this support so here restoring couple that is k delta 2 into b so kb delta 2 acts in clockwise direction similarly for first spring spring force acts in opposite direction that is k delta 1 so k delta 1 that is rest restoring force and perpendicular distance that is a so restoring couple that is k delta 1 into a so here we can write k delta 1 into a is equal to k delta 1 acts in clockwise direction so here we draw final free body diagram here pendulum swing because of accelerating couple i theta double dot pendulum has own weight that is mg if pendulum swing through an angle theta then this angle is also theta so weight has two component that is angle adjacent side so we can write mg cos theta this is angle opposite sides so we can we can write mg sin theta and because of this pendulum swing first spring is compressed by an amount delta 2 so spring force acts in opposite direction that is k delta 2 because stiffness is equal to force per unit deflection and similarly for this spring deflection is delta 1 and spring force acts in opposite direction that is k delta 1 so for first spring perpendicular distance that is b and for second spring perpendicular distance is a so restoring couple k a delta 1 acts in clockwise direction and similarly k b delta 2 acts in clockwise direction so there are total four force first one is accelerating couple that is i theta double dot acts in anti-clockwise direction external couple mg l sine theta that is x in clockwise direction and k delta 1 a clockwise direction and k delta 2 b clockwise direction so here we consider sign convection for anti clockwise we consider positive and for clockwise we consider negative as per newton's second law of motion accelerating couple is equal to summation of external couple so here external couple that is i theta double dot x anti-clockwise direction that's why we consider positive so i theta double dot is equal to external couple all couples are acting clockwise direction that's why I consider negative so minus mg l sine theta minus k delta 1a and minus k delta 2b so here theta is small again sine theta is equal to theta so i theta double dot plus mg l in place of sin theta we consider only theta so mg l theta plus k delta 1 plus kb delta 2 is equal to 0 so here put the value of delta 1 we already find that delta 1 is equal to a theta and delta 2 is equal to b theta so in place of delta 1 we write a theta in place of delta 2 we can write b theta 
Now solve this equation i theta double dot plus mg l theta plus k a square theta plus k b square theta is equal to 0. So i theta double dot plus mg l k square plus k b square theta common is equal to 0. Dividing this equation by i, so theta double dot plus mg l plus k square plus k b square divided by i into theta is equal to 0. But we know that for pendulum moment of inertia, i is equal to ml square. So theta double dot plus mg l plus k a square plus k b square divided by in place of moment of inertia we can write ml square theta as it is equal to 0. So this is the similar equation we know that equation for simple harmonic motion that is x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0. So these both equation are similar. So the above equation represents differential equation of motion for the system. Now comparing the above equation with fundamental equation of simple harmonic motion, we know that x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0 or in place of linear displacement, we here we consider rotational displacement. That's why consider theta double dot plus omega n square theta is equal to 0. Now comparing this equation with above equation here theta double dot plus here theta so in place of omega n square we can write mgl plus k square plus kb square divided by ml square so omega n square is equal to mgl plus k square plus kb square divided by ml square so omega n is equal to under root mgl plus k square plus kb square divided by ml square and we know that a natural frequency that is fn is equal to omega n divided by 2 pi so 1 upon 2 pi under root mgl plus k square plus kb square divided by ml square so in this way we easily solve numerical related to free vibration